Would this be classified as cheating? Making it all fit on the window at once rather than have to scroll down and miss parts of it. Who knows? Anyway, thought it was time to take a look at the Prime Access for Limbo Prime because, well, my boosters were going to expire in the next month and I just thought <laughs> I may as well pick that up. You can, of course, get this by buying the top tier Cataclysm level Prime Access, but that will also include Limbo Prime, the Pyrona Prime, and that melee prime that I was about to name the wrong weapon. Wow, that would not have gone well actually. It's the Destrezza prime, but I was going to call it the other one, and, and the more I think about it, the Euphorna is actually secondary, not merely anyway, so I would have got that completely wrong on so many levels. Or, you can actually just pick this up by simply picking up the prime accessory pack. <laughs> more cheating? This is of course obtainable by itself, as I mentioned before. It is basically just the Oblivia Prime Sandana, the Rift Walker Prime Sigil, and of course the 90 day Affinity Booster and the 90 day Credit Booster. I've mentioned this before. I kind of wish there was a choice to get the 90 day Resource Booster with this. If you are picking this up on console, however, you will also get Platinum with this. On PC, you don't get Platinum unless you pick up one of the other Prime Access packs as well. So, it's not a great deal of money if you are a completionist and you make use of the Affinity Booster. The Credit Booster, as expected though, the... I always go for the wrong one there. The Rift Walker Sigil actually was kind of weird looking. I like the fact that the middle is kind of riftish and so is the outside but that effect in the very middle there, I don't know, I still think I prefer the... that one. There was also the Saren one and finding these can be a pain. That was the Saren one, that one. I think I still prefer that one, I think that one came with Nova. But that actually doesn't look that bad. I am of course using uh, Limbo for this simply because it's his Sandana. Now finding the Oblivion Sandana these days can be quite a pain because of how many Sandanas there actually is. Strangely enough, there it is straight away. Hmm. Doesn't kind of match the rest of his colours very well does it? If I copy the main colours, uh, no, nope, that's attachment colours, the main colours. Yeah, I think I kind of prefer it like that. I didn't realise I changed his colours that much. I just kind of added the blue in there and... Turns out I did a lot more than I thought I had, but... That's not actually bad. As much as I like this, I do prefer the Noru Prime Sandana and the Mesa Prime Sandana, Meso Prime Sandana more. So when it comes to the big elephant in the room of is the Limbo Prime Access Pack worth it? If you need the boosters, then yes, it's 1,200 Platinums worth of boosters and you get a Prime Sandana and other stuff with it. Right now, on the other hand, because I've just picked this up, this isn't a case of, oh, you're late. It's a case of, no, I've only just picked this up. I don't pick up the Prime Accessories when they first come out. I can wait a bit. Unless they look really good and then I'll pick them up pretty much straight away. And I didn't even cover Hydroids because it wasn't that nice at all. But right now, I cannot at all say it's worth it when you can get Nyx Prime, Rhino Prime, the Baltor Prime, the Anki Ross Prime, the Haiku Prime, the big Battle Axe Prime, the Prime Melee Dangly, the Torgus Prime Armor, the Noru Prime Sandana, and the Distiller Extractor Prime. All, both of the packs together, the whole thing, for less. That entire pack actually costs less than the Limbo Prime Accessories pack. If you really need the boosters, I guess it's worth it. Otherwise, yeah. Weirdly, this pack here actually comes with 1,200 Platinum. So you could pick that up. And then buy 90 days of affinity boosters and 90 day of credit boosters and 
have more for less. So only because the prime vault is open I have to say no, otherwise it would be, it is a pretty nice prime access pack, there are better ones and I would save that money for the next one because they have to go all out in the next one because if it is Chroma, he has to come with some amazing accessories. Anyway, we'll leave this off here for now. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you next time.